Good day and welcome to SO 106, Study Session 3, Community Development Theories. 1. Introduction. In this study session, you will explore the concept of theory in relation to community development. You will focus on Maxlow theory of needs, learning outcomes. After you have started this study session, you should be able to 1. Define the term theory and 2. Point out developmental needs of community. What is theory? A theory involves propositions or hypotheses that are problematic and not verified, though they may be verifiable. A theory is constructed by formulating a coherent group of propositions designed to help our understanding of a phenomenon of, or making judgment about it. Theories in other disciplines at times may be relevant to community development. Therefore, community development theory has used and also continues to borrow from the theories of the standard disciplines. Theory is also a set of interrelated principles set up to explain some propositions. Dunham, 1958, describes theory as bodies of knowledge that have been developed over time to explain the basis of a given phenomenon. Community development theories. Community development theories include assumptions, ideologies, principles and positions that govern the practice of community development. A theory provides a guide to what should be done in a given situation in relation to community development. In other words, in order to ensure sensible community development, we need the application of descriptive, explanative, predictive, heuristic theories. Community development theory heavily depends on general systems and on social systems conceptual framework to organize and relate ideas, intelligence and information uncovered and created in the process of community development. There are different types of community development theories which we shall examine in this course. However, we shall focus on Maslow's theory of needs in this study session. Maslow's theory of needs. This theory of needs was proposed by Abraham Maslow in 1954. It states that all people have needs that vary and are arranged in a hierarchical form. It stated that the variety of needs for human beings can be classified into seven. These are in order of importance, starting from the bottom to the top. Physiological needs. These are often referred to as the survival needs. They are based on primary needs, which include hunger, thirst, sex, love, and other internal drives. Maslow opined that when these physiological needs are fully satisfied, all other needs will appear. Safety needs. The need for safety will appear after satisfaction of the physiological needs. Safety needs are mainly concerned with maintaining order and security in relation to the life and property of the individual in whatever situation he may find himself. Belongingness and love needs. These are purely social needs and they include need to affiliate with others need to be accepted and belong, these needs become satisfied after safety needs are fully met. The needs for self-esteem. This consists of needs to achieve, be competent and gain approval and recognition. These needs are also social and will not appear until the physiological safety and belongingness are probably been satisfied. Cognitive needs. These are made up of needs to know, understand, and explore. They become satisfied after the satisfaction of the above-mentioned needs. 
aesthetic needs. These are needs for symmetry, order, and beauty. They also become satisfied after the satisfaction of the needs mentioned above. Self-actualization needs. This is the highest need. It is the need to find self-fulfillment and realize one's potential. It is not, of course, easy to reach this height. Not all individuals can reach the top. Implication of Maslow's theory of needs to community development. The relevance of the Maslow's theory to this study is that as needs become satisfied, an individual becomes dissatisfied as higher and greater needs are desired. It is necessary to point out that community or groups stay together to meet either one or more of these needs. Moreover, they are motivated by the category of needs that they desire at a particular point in time. Hence, felt needs are identified and rated before appropriate programs are put in place to satisfy those needs within the community involved. Also, it is clear from this theory that the successful completion of one developmental project will lead to interest in more because human needs are many. It is important to note that existing community development agents are in need of one thing or the other. Their need is based on the rationale be behind Maslow's theory of needs. An understanding of Maslow's theory will help the social worker to clear some blockages that will prevent them from achieving their individual goals. Maslow's theory is also with the opinion that as change agents unblock the barriers to achieving their goals, so also the client, that is community development agents, should unblock barriers to their success. Study session summary. In this study session, we examine the relationship between community development and theories. Specifically, we employed the Maslow's theory of human needs to explain that just as human beings, communities also have needs, and these needs must be properly identified and attended to before community development can take place. This is the end of study session three. Thanks for listening.